Gonna wait till it really amps up out here before going. The elephants will be coming in soon. Oh, we've all uh, sign language if you want. <laughs> we've talked a lot about um, you know just what the this trip means and things like that. But just from a hockey perspective, to come in here get four points against a great team like really the good Stars, team. just what does this do for you this early in the season? In a different style, completely different style of hockey tonight uh, than last night. I thought we recovered well in um, after the second. Just builds faith constantly kind of reinforcing what we're trying to do. Being able to play a different style of game is critically important to recognize that everybody's got their own game, right? We all have a, we've got to play our game. You've heard it a million times. But, but the National Hockey League, there's another team on the ice, and that changes the way your game looks. So lots of motion last game, way, quite a bit more open ice, and this one's a bit more of a grinder. Uh, probably more true to the style of both teams. And uh, I like the way we handled it. Left side, second row. Well, you win both games. All your Finns get at least one point in yeah. the two games. Greer gets his first goal. I mean, you had all the other stuff up there. Is there anything this trip was missing? Well, there's a good line for that, but can't use it. Um, no, it's exactly what you would hope for for us. Because this is a challenge, right, to fit this kind of idea into an NHL season. So there's an opportunity for this to be really important for your team and be really, really good. And it's also it can be a building block. I think I think teams that have gone to global series usually have very good seasons. I hope we've made the most of our opportunity here. I think we have. The wins are. I don't, I don't know that the wins are the most important thing. Connections, the most important thing is the connections that you can make in your room in an unusual space. So the idea that if we do the same things over and over every single day and we use that back room, if we had dinner at that back room table every single day, the connections wouldn't nearly be as strong as if we had them in different contexts. If we can go to a different place and have a different interactions with each other, they will be stronger. That's the value of, of doing something unusual like this. And it's been great. I mean, it's a, the longest five-game road trip in NHL history, right? Like for, for, for miles. So we should get something out of this. We should get something beyond the standard day-to-day -day connection with our group. And I think we did. Right side, fourth row. Coach, you yesterday you talked about this week as an opportunity to increase your emotional resilience yeah. during this week. And now after these two matches, how successful do you think this week has been for your team? I think very. And I, I'm going to just anecdotally, because I can't measure this, but looking at their faces between the second and third period, they were fatigued, and I knew it, right? You could, the room's quiet. It's, it's not out of lack of caring. It's not out of a lack of character, for sure. But they're quiet. Because we've we spent a lot to get here. It is we started on the road on a three-game road trip to come, and yet we were able to then find a way. It wasn't a perfect game. We, we didn't expect it to be, but we found a way, and that then it's almost like when we looked at the start of our season that this would be possibly the most challenging. Set. And we got a whole other set of challenges when when we go back, um, but we needed to almost survive this to re-cement. It's not about winning the cup. It's about the style of play that we, we have. It's hard. And we had a whole bunch of tests. We started the season, actually, the, the last game that we played was in Quebec City. So we don't travel after that. Travel the next day, ring ceremony, banner raising, Boston Bruins, 7-11. and 11. But That's hard. And then five-game road trip on different continents. That's hard. And we found a way to, to be successful in that. So that... Builds the faith. Left side, second row. Uh, Paul, you seem to know something about these European trips. It's your third one, if I'm not mistaken. It is, yeah. And, uh, it's been pretty good. Total of six games. You've won five of them, more than any other coach in NHL history outside of North America. What well, was you... that Barkoff guy on the other team who cost me the win? <laughs> Florida, Florida beat us. Right. Barkoff was on the other team, yeah. So the question is, do you take any special pride in being so successful outside of North America? You probably know something other coaches may... Not about no, I know that when they run me out of this league, and that could happen at any time, 
I'm coming to Finland to see if I can get a coaching job because my record's ridiculous over here, right? It's going to bring in Tuomo Root to me because he's 4 0. So my record's not as good as, as Rudy's, but the two of us are coming back strictly for the smoke tearing and the hockey. Right side, second row. Uh, question about the locker room post game who talked first? You were the Finnish president. Oh, I think. The president did, yeah. Mine was just in and out. Um, it was very nice to have him there. It was meaningful. You could, sometimes you can just tell by the way people stand in the room, right? And our guys really appreciate that. Every single player, there's nobody sitting in the stall. They're all gassed. They're dead tired. And everybody's standing up. And I like the... It's very kind words from him to our team, which we appreciated. But maybe I sit and watch and appreciate... Sasha Barkov's respect uh, when we passed uh, when he passed the jersey to him it was it's really nice really enjoyed that take a couple more left side third row coach you, you talked about resilience and all those things and and you get a really big game from Spencer Knight and and you've gotten a couple of them now he's won three in a row as, as that confidence builds in him how important is that as you try and navigate when you go home and you're gonna have a very right. dense schedule Right, and it, and it comes off last year. So one of the things that Anthony Stollers did for Sergei Bobrovsky, our schedule didn't look like this. So credit to uh, Rob Tallis, our goalie coach, to find the right way to get him in. Our schedule dictates that now. We play 14 sets of back-to-backs. Spencer Knight's playing every one of them. We'll get, we'll get him a start one of these days that it's not back-to-back. Really, really critical. Um, and he needs to have success also because it's the only way sometimes you can share that good feeling with him, right? Like if he's going and he's playing hard, but it's just not going for him. I mean, you tap him in the pads, but you don't get to share and you don't get to share in the wins. So the, the record says that we have a pretty good team over the last couple of years. And the, the, the new players come in, and Spencer Knight in some ways is a new player. He has to have some success so he can share. And everybody's just waiting for it. Can you, you know, tap him on the pads, something good. So he gets on a bit of a run. He was ex really, really strong in one of his early starts. You know, a really important part of that when he was strong again tonight. So now he gets to share the joy a little bit. Last one, right side, fourth row. Hey, coach, uh, what did you think about Finnish national anthem? So I love that. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. Um, it's kind of like all your work is done. There's nothing left. I, I got a job to do on the bench, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because your fourth line scores the game winner in an offensive zone draw, and you could critique whether I was right leaving them or not based on the rotation of the four lines prior. The national anthem is this kind of, it, 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 it reminds you in some ways that this is actually a spectacle. It's actually entertaining, and we, and we can all share in it, whether you were cheering for the Florida Panthers or you were cheering for the Dallas Stars tonight, the Finnish people, and they sang it. It was awesome. So I, en I enjoyed that very, very much. It, it was really well done. Thanks a lot, All right, Paul. safe travels, everyone. And thank you. Thank you to the Finnish media that have covered our team. We, we really enjoyed the hospitality here. The fans were great. The hotel's been fantastic. The people that have taken care of our team it was beyond uh, their job. They made us feel at home, and uh, so thank you to all of you very much. Thanks, Paul. Echo that on behalf of the NHL, and uh, thanks so much, everybody. That